hey guys and welcome back to my channel today i will be showing you part two featuring a doula hair and today's video will be focused on bonding in the back of uh bonding the back of the hair for a lace frontal installment now i hope you guys tuned into part one and it was a frontal one-on-one -on -one featuring a doula hair and as i mentioned in that video they did send me four bundles of that uh, body wave hair in 28 inches so this was a requested video and someone uh she should be watching this video hopefully because she actually texted me um and requested you know if i can do a video on you know how i double my west and doing a bond down properly and everything like that and she even offered to pay me for it but i was like no it's okay love i would just upload a video on how to do this because i know many of you have the same questions and concerns on how to do a bonding and especially with the double wefting so i really wanted to bring you this video today to give you guys a better understanding now as i mentioned before usually when i do the bondings it's supposed to be a black cap so that's why i used a black cap on top of that nude one for the bonding and i'm going to show you exactly and explain to you in detail uh, how to do the double wefting bonding installation now first things first when you get that fresh bundle it already comes like pre-rolled in the double like doubled format if you guys if that's the proper way to say that so this is just how the tracks look after um you know unraveling it it already comes doubled and most people probably take it all the way loose and make it single but i like to keep the tracks doubled and pretty much what you want to do is the same way you will measure and cut the single bundle you just um the single track you just want to keep uh that bundle uh doubled and just do the do the same measuring and cutting and as far as placing the glue on the tracks you want to make sure that you um place that glue on the first track and then place that glue on the second track and then you will just glue them like keeping one track on like on top of the other slightly and just glue it that way you don't want to glue the two tracks together and just make it like one thick track no make sure you keep one track laying directly on top of the other like above right above it that way it can still lay down flat without being bulky and i hope i'm explaining this to you guys in a way that you can understand i know i talk pretty fast but i'm really trying to explain to you what i am doing and also show you pretty much like the track placement so here it is again i'm going to unravel this second bundle and as i mentioned i am keeping it doubled i am not taking it all the way loose so as you unloose it it still is doubled and i just measure it from one side to the other i'm going to go ahead and take my scissors and cut that track and then place that glue on that first track and then place the glue on the second track keeping each track um keeping one track underneath the same way you see how i have it laid when i'm applying that glue it's the same way you want to keep it when you're laying it down and once again that's so it do not be you know bulky it still can be flat and smooth and one great benefit of doubling your tracks is that you can actually fit more bundles into your installation versus you unraveling the whole bundle completely out to be a single weft and you can't really get as much hair as you want in so right now i am still using this second bundle and i'm about halfway through the back and i'm just going to repeat the same steps that i gave you guys and just keeping one track above the other and just laying it down and i do use the salon pro 30 second glue it dries faster than just a regular bonding glue itself and as far as what i put on top of the cap before gluing i use a hair styling spray or spritz or even a combination of both it's just really your preference and what you feel like doing and i'm just going to continue as i said to just glue those tracks um you know until i reach the very very top now usually when you start off bonding in the tracks at the bottom they should be wider and as you get to the middle it should be wider and then as you get higher up it should start getting shorter again as far as width and you just want to keep 
those tracks close together and that way as well you will not have any gaps in between your install and you can put more tracks in still so as you can see i just did take my bed head and spray some more of that styling spray and i am unraveling bundle number three right now keeping that weft doubled as i mentioned previously before and i'm just going to do that same cut glue and paste um, method so you just want to do that all the way up to the top keeping that half circle uh, design going but as you do get closer to putting like your last two or three tracks I just glue those tracks straight across that way it is very flat between the frontal and the bundles and I will you know part off a section of the back of that frontal and just hot comb it back that way it can cover up the tracks So as you can see, the half circle uh, has got really small. So now I'm just going to take short tracks and just bring the tracks straight across horizontally. I am no longer going in that uh, semi-circle uh, motion. I'm just going straight across with the last two tracks. And then I'm going to part section, uh, like a thin section of that frontal and just hot comb it back. That way the hair can cover up the tracks and also use my bed hair styling spray, you know, just to shape mold shape and mold everything the way it's supposed to be and then once i do that i would just make sure everything is just blended in blended in well hot combing uh spraying and smoothing everything out and that would pretty much complete uh the installation of this nadula hair as i mentioned before make sure you have watched part one on how i installed the frontal it was very detailed and um, you know, it will help you get a better understanding of what I'm doing here in part two as far, as far as finishing up that installation. And this is Nadula Hair once again, one of my favorite companies to work with here on YouTube. Like every time they send me hair, the quality is always awesome, awesome, awesome. And the hairline be pre-plucked and everything like that. The hair is full. So this is one of my favorite youtube companies and i did not do any baby hairs for this install i just wanted the hairline to be natural i did not pluck the frontal at all it did come pre-plucked as mentioned before and she is just showing you the hairline here but i'm just going to slow it down for you and as you can see these bundles are really full and this was four bundles of uh body wave hair and very full 28 inches and the matching frontal so i hope you guys did enjoy this tutorial i hope i explained it well for you and if you have any more requests just go ahead and leave them down below and thank you for tuning in to i am beautiful hustler tv